vorstellen? No. Ja, du musst dich selbst vorstellen. Okay. Hallo. Hi, welcome to our presentation uh, today, uh, talking about uh, the Edge use case that you've heard about in the keynotes uh, this morning, um, enabling a secure industry 4.0 transition for the textile industry with OpenStack. So my name is Christoph, I'm a CEO and founder of ScaleUp, and with me I have... Uh, my name is Christian Behrendt, I'm the CEO of Beta Cloud Solutions. Mario Archidiakono from Erlicon, I'm an architect and team lead for the product IT team. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Um, now, uh, hand it over to Mario to talk a bit about, yeah, the requirements and challenges in our yes. solution. <clears throat> Scale and challenges. So, uh, as you've seen in the keynote probably, and as you can see here, we are operating on a quite massive scale. Uh, with lots of single machines in one plant, delivering lots and lots of data. Um, this is, is an example plant, mid-size to big example plant from India. And this thing is producing 600 tons of yarn every day, so 24-7 operations, which equals to a train of four kilometers of length. So this is basically what happens there every day. And you can imagine that to support all these operations, we have to deliver lots of IT infrastructure, let alone the control PCs that control the machines and the overall plant that has to be controlled and managed like all those uh, little things to uh, do shift management, all the reporting, statistics and so on. So we so have lots of data. And as I want to give you one example, uh, this uh, plant consists of what we call so-called positions, which are those winders on the left corner here. And uh, we, in our speech, our language, 48 of those winders are called one machine. And at a maximum, each of these machines, so 48 winders, can output 800,000 data points per second. And this leads, obviously leads to a big requirement in computing uh, as a lot as we can directly, directly in the factory of the customer. And with this, so short introduction to what we do, the scale and the challenge, and I'll hand over to Christoph. Thank you. Yeah, so let's talk a bit uh, more about the challenges as, as Mario has already mentioned. So when uh, Erlicon approached us uh, early this year, um, um, they, they came with uh, quite, quite different challenges actually, uh, which were to overcome. So uh, one of the challenges uh, or one of the tasks is actually to replace existing physical hardware in the factories. Um, so for example, each machine in a factory today has still a, a workstation attached to it. Um, and so one of the uh, um, tasks is actually to, uh, further down the road, replace all those physical machines um, and virtualize them to make management of the whole um, infrastructure in the factory um, well, uh, more, more easy to, to do. <clears throat> also, uh, some of those systems in the factory are like single server, single uh, computer systems. Um, so another challenge was actually to, to uh, make some of those uh, systems uh, redundant. Um, another um, challenge, and this was mentioned in the keynote as well, is actually to enhance uh, the monitoring and operation and control of the machines in the factory. And for this, Erlicon is running uh, their own piece of uh, software, the Plant Operation Center. Um, and so um, the, the challenge here was to, to have the compute power locally in the factory in order to do the data aggregation in the factory, um, and then uh, analyze the data and uh, uh, send out uh, only uh, the already pre-processed data for a remote analysis of the data. Uh, and at the same time, because uh, some of those machines are, are not fully redundant today, uh, uh, another task was to, to, to build in some more redundancy and increase av availability of those systems. <clears throat> to continue on with uh, challenges, um, uh, another thing which was requested was to, to make it more easy to bring new functionality uh, into the factory, uh, into the machines uh, by enhancing some existing control systems 
um, uh, do machine learning, as was mentioned uh, earlier, and just uh, bring out um, new features, uh, which then the, the customer can use in the factory. Um, and so one of the goals is to, uh, to use more uh, modern infrastructure to do this in the future. So um, some of those new features will be rolled out in Docker containers, for example. Um, uh, so there's some need for uh, a true like, cloud infrastructure in the factory in order to, to easily roll out uh, uh, those containers. And at the same time, there's still the need uh, to have uh, like um, traditional virtualization uh, technology in the factory in order to have some of those uh, legacy systems which are running today and move them on to a more redundant and more scalable uh, infrastructure. Okay, so this was all about the challenges. Now we talk about what we did to make that possible. Yeah, so um, we decided um, um, to build an OpenStack solution um, with Ceph. And as a first step, um, we migrated the existing systems on the central side um, to a central um, um, OpenStack cloud. So that we now have in, in Germany, um, in the data center, uh, a bigger OpenStack cloud running um, high HA um, OS controllers, running Ceph as uh, shared storage, using um, KVM as a virtualization backend. And on top of this um, uh, controller OpenStack environment, we run the central infrastructure for the um, software that we are running in the, in the fabrics. So um, the next step, now that we have a central infrastructure controlled by OpenStack, is that we connect our, our machinery in the, in the fabrics. So that one of the issues is that um, the fabrics are in uh, Vietnam or in Honduras or something like this. And um, so we need VPN, we need um, um, something um, robust so that we can have... So the machinery is, is, is not possible to shut down the systems. So we may, um, um, the POC running on um, bare metal systems, we need to connect them to the central infrastructure by um, a so-called edge gateway or um, a central cloud connector system. And in the next step, um, we make this cloud controller bigger. So in the first step, we have a single node system only with KVM running um, some VPN gateway software. In the next step, we built um, an HA controller with OpenStack with Ceph integrated on a hyper-converged um, infrastructure. And then we migrate the existing bare metal POC systems to virtual HA um, POC systems. So that we now have um, an independent OpenStack environment on the fabric side that is connected to the central infrastructure on, uh, on the German side. And in the final step, we migrate everything to a central controller running in Germany that is controlling the Ceph storage and the KVM systems in the fabric so that we now have a fully um, edge cloud. So the stage two is um, the future at the moment. Um, we are at stage one and yeah, this is working fine on, on several sites. And here are some details about um, the two uh, variants. So we have a one node. Warum ist das nicht da? Yeah, so we have a one node variant. This is the um, edge gateway. And the three node variant at the moment um, with an HA controller with, um, with Ceph. So we're going to the next slide, to the concrete implementation. Yeah, so to talk a bit more about uh, the implementation. So when we uh, uh, sat down uh, together earlier this year, we, we talked about ways how we can we can actually support Earlycon uh, to, to well, to actually tackle all those challenges, find the right solution. And what we uh, in the end decided on is that uh, at this point in time, uh, we formed forces together uh, with uh, beta cloud solutions and scale-up technologies. And so we help Earlycon to, first of all, uh, deploy those edge, uh, those edge installations uh, uh, for the factories um, and also support um, uh, support the operation of, of OpenStack and those edge instances in the factories, as well as the management uh, of those OpenStack instances. Uh, so that's uh, one part of the implementation. Um, and uh, in order to actually have this hyperconverged setup, uh, we used a solution uh, from BetaCloud, 
um, which is the OpenStack Infrastructure and Services Manager, which is in essence a, a fully uh, containerized deployment of OpenStack, uh, which makes it possible to have, um, uh, to, 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 to in essence, have a consistent setup um, regardless of, uh, of the size of the deployment uh, for the actual end customers. So uh, the, the goal is actually to have a consistent setup for a small installation with only one physical server, um, uh, going over to a fully uh, redundant, fully HA setup, which is at least three nodes big. And then for larger customers, uh, potentially in China, where the factories are bigger, uh, we will need more compute resources to run everything. Um, and so we can easily uh, take the three node setup and add additional nodes to that setup to have, I don't know, five, 10, uh, whatever size is needed, uh, nodes set up for larger customers and larger factories. Um, so when we, when we first talked, um, there was also discussion about having, I don't know, having a look at other technologies, um, um, but we decided to use something established and standardized, so uh, this is why we settled on, uh, on OpenStack, to have a standardized API in order to, um, to make it possible to, to, to use uh, something like containers, uh, Kubernetes, uh, and, and more automation in the, in, in the future. So we needed a standardized APIs. Um, Another benefit of the solution is actually that uh, we can now have um, all the compute resources that we need locally in the factory. Uh, so for example, uh, in the factory in Vietnam, we can have all the infrastructure necessary to run legacy systems, uh, container-based um, container uh, solutions, um, and, and potentially other third-party systems without having the need to have uh, a good connection to the public internet. I mean, there, in, in most factories, there is a connection to the internet, and we use that connection to, to send out data to the central instance, but uh, the whole setup does not rely on it, and that was one of the, one of the tasks that we uh, tackled with this uh, solution. Um, as well as remote management, so all the OpenStack clouds can be um, remotely managed. So uh, Erlikon in, in Remscheid can actually connect to all those instances uh, we can support those instances if something on the OpenStack side is, uh, is, is not in order, we can, we can debug and, and uh, find all those issues. And uh, last but not least, another benefit of the solution is to, um, and, and we built some, some, some pieces on top of OpenStack to, in, in order to do that, uh, to take existing legacy systems, which are not meant to be run in, a, in an HA highly available setup, and actually make them more available uh, by using uh, OpenStack, using some additional tooling um, to, to build in more redundancy and more HA capabilities to do that. <clears throat> so as you had heard in the morning, the first pilot customer for this solution is Century in Vietnam. And I'm sure, do you, do you want to maybe say a few words to, to that as well? Yeah, um, about can. Century and, and their specific yes. uh, role as a pilot yeah. uh, in this project? Fine, so Century is a long-standing customer with the early con main made fiber for something around 20 years now. So for us, it's a very important customer, even if, if it's not our biggest customer. But they're very interesting for us because they have all kinds of machines from us, not only single machine type. And they have uh, currently running, are running four instances of our plant operation center in two factories. And uh, what they are doing, currently doing, is they migrate workloads that are currently, ru are currently run in SAP, for example, and migrate them to or shift them to our software. So automatically, the uh, requirements for whoops, uh, the requirements for av high availability uh, are raised. And so we had to do something about this and could. Uh, yeah, implement this on top of OpenStack with some custom programming, even if our plant operation center now is a, uh, we call it legacy application that has grown over the last 10 to 15 years. So there's always a good solution uh, utilizing OpenStack even for those older systems. And on the other hand, we are now able to uh, 
through our VPN and to some deployment tools uh, to bring our new uh, infrastructure, container-based infrastructure to those factories um, without the need, uh, like in the past, for our guys uh, always traveling there because we are always on with them now or they're always on with us. And um, yeah, it's a happy story for all of us. And the CEO of Century especially is very happy with this and completely understood from the get-go the benefits he now can, uh, he, he can now have with this new infrastructure and software layer we provide. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's give an outlook into the future. <laughs> yes, yeah, so in the future um, we have to replace the, the full-blown OpenStack environments on the factory sites and we will replace them with one central controller so that we have a, a real edge cloud and not only full deployed edge clouds on the edge. And um, yes, this will be the next stage, the next step. Yeah, and at the same time, um, I mean, the first pilot customer is online, the next one uh, is, the, the cloud is already on the way, um, there, there's more to come. So um, in the future, there's, there's also the challenge to, to streamline the whole deployment process in order to support 10, 50, 100, whatever number there is edge, edge cloud instances out there. Uh, this is something that we have not fully, fully uh, solved yet, um, but we're, we're also looking for the community to, to actually, uh, yeah, I know, find, find better ways uh, in order to, to make that more easy in the future, yes. hopefully. Yeah, um, with that, um, we can, we can wrap up here, and uh, if there's any further questions, you can certainly grab us after the presentation, uh, or you can have our contact details here on the slide. Yes, and you can come to our booth and their booth, of course. Yes, C22, <laughs> and yours is? A28. Okay, so just come by, say hi. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.